Four E, my house. Vocabulary. One, two, three. First, second, third. What's the difference between the two? These are cardinal numbers. We use them for quantity. How many books do we have? Let's count one, two, three. But here we are not counting. We show position. The position of something in a list. We use ordinal numbers. First place, second place, and third place. Now repeat after me. This is a building, and this at the bottom is the ground floor. Ground floor. First floor. The first floor. Second floor. Third. Don't say third. No, it's third. Fourth. Fifth. We don't say fifth. No. Fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, third, thirteenth, fourteenth. Again, not five. No, it's fifth, fifteenth. Sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twenty, twentieth, twentieth, twenty-first. It's not twenty-one. We are showing position, just like first, second, twenty-first, twenty-second. Twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, etc. Now listen, listen to Tina, a girl, talking about her new flat. Flat is a place where people live, and it is a part of a larger building. In American English, we say apartment. And answer the questions. Choose A or B. What floor does Tina live on? Does she live on the first floor or the second floor? What can Tina see from her bedroom window? When she looks out of the window, does she see houses or trees in a garden? Three, where is Tina's bedroom? Is it next to the bathroom, or is it next to another bedroom, a master bedroom, maybe where her parents sleep? Now listen. Hey Tina, how's your new flat? It's fantastic. What floor is it on? Is it on the first floor like your old flat? No, our new flat is on the second floor. Great. Has the building got a lift? Of course. What about the view? What can you see? Well, from the kitchen window you can see a nice garden, but from my bedroom window you can just see some houses. That's a shame. What's your room like? It's great. It's really big. There's only one problem though. What's that? It's next to my parents' room. So I must be quiet after eleven. Now I will show you the listening transcript. Hey Tina, how's your new flat? It's fantastic. What floor is it on? Is it on the first floor like your old flat? No, our new flat is on the second floor. Great. Has the building got a lift? Of course. It's fantastic. It's great. It's amazing. Your old flat, the flat 
that you lived in in the past. Lift, elevator. This is a lift. It takes you to higher floors. Tina lives on the second floor. Second floor. What about the view? What can you see? Well, from the kitchen window you can see a nice garden. But from my bedroom window, you can just see some houses. That's a shame. What about the view? Tell me about the view. View, things you can see when you look. That's a shame. That's sad. That's not happy. That's a pity. From my bedroom window, you can see houses. From the kitchen, you see a garden. But we're asking about her bedroom view. Houses. What's your room like? It's great. It's really big. There's only one problem, though. What's that? It's next to my parents' room, so I must be quiet after 11. What's your room like? Tell me about your room. Describe your room. It's really big. It's truly big. It's quite big. But there is one problem, though, despite that. Though, despite being great and big. I must be quiet. I mustn't make noise. Shh! Quiet. Don't make noise. So it's next to her parents' room. B. Speak and write. Read the description below. Description details. You describe. When you describe your flat, you give its details. And complete the notes. We need to find missing information. We need to know the address, the details of where somebody lives. We need to know if it's a house or a flat. Flat, a place where people live, and it's a part of a larger building. Is this house or flat big or small? What floor is it on? The number of bedrooms, two, three, four. Bathrooms, how many? Is there a balcony? Yes or no? What's their favorite room? Is it the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom? What's in it? Is there a TV, a sofa, armchair? Now read with me. I live at. You use this phrase if you want to give the address. The address is 33 Plow Road. Plow is the name of the road. Road is a surface that cars travel on. With my parents, my sister, and our five parrots. This is a parrot. Our flat is on the third floor. This person lives in a flat and it is on the third floor and it is quiet big it's not small quiet doesn't mean shh don't make noise no the same spelling the same pronunciation quiet different meaning it means it is big but not very big but it is big so it's not small there are three bedrooms a kitchen a living room and one bathroom the flat has also got a balcony yes there is a balcony the view the things you can see from the balcony when you are on the balcony is fantastic it's amazing my favorite room is the living room that's the favorite room in the living room there is a sofa, two armchairs, a TV, and a big cage for our parrots. This is a cage for parrots. When we sit and watch TV, it's like we are at the zoo. 
because of the noise, the sounds the parrots make. They are very noisy. They make a lot of loud sounds. But I love them. B. Complete the notes below about your house or flat. Then talk in pairs. Now this is the information, the details of my flat. My favorite room is my study room. The study is a room where you work or study. And in this room, I have a swivel chair. What is a swivel chair? This is a swivel chair. Now talk in pairs. Answer these questions. I live at 3810 Wadi Harad Street. It's a flat. It's on the fourth floor. It's big. Finish answering the questions. Now look, this is a list of the rooms I have in my flat. It's a list. I will use this list to give a description to describe my house. I can use there is, there are, or have got, has got. Like this. In my flat, there are, we're talking about three bedrooms, not one. I use there are. And these are the items, the rooms I have in the list. Look, between each item, between each room, I use a comma. Bedrooms, comma. Bathrooms, comma. And before the last item, before the last room, I use and. And a living room. Now, I have four items. What if I have five? Then, comma, comma, comma. And before the last room, the last item, I use and. If you have six, the same thing. Do you get it? We can use have got, has got. I say, my flat has got. And the same thing, comma, comma. Before the last room, I use AND. Now, use the prompts to make sentences. In my house, we have two. We will use THERE ARE. Two bedrooms, comma, comma, AND. Use HAVE GOT, HAS GOT. My house has got. We use HAS GOT with HE, SHE, it. With I, you, we, they, we use have got. It has got. My house has got. And then we continue the same way. Now this time about my bedroom. I have one bed. I will use there is. There is a bed. My bedroom has got a bed. And then we put commas and and. Very easy. Now. It is your turn to write a description of your house or flat. Use the information from activity B. Use this information from activity B. First, go to the workbook, page 131. And don't forget to use prepositions of place. Words like in, on, under, next to, behind. We are on page 131. We will write a description of the house or flat we live in. Complete the plan using activity B. The same information we used in activity B. And here is the description. I live at 3810 Wadi Harad Street with my parents, my brother and my two sisters. Our flat is on the fourth floor, and it is quite big. There are three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room. The flat hasn't got a balcony, no balcony. That's a shame. That's sad. My favorite room is the study room. 
where I work. In the study room, there is a desk, a computer, and a swivel chair. I spend a lot of time in the study room working on my computer. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.